Well, it is that time of year again where the weekend cruiser takes the weekend off. Hey everybody, it's Brandon the Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend, except, as many of the longtime followers and listeners know, during the summer. That's normally how my schedule shapes up, is the year is barbelled for me. The first part and the last part, but normally not a lot in the summer months. And I wanted to do a few things today. Number one, go over why that is. Why do I take the summer months off? And share with you, secondly, kind of what some of my cool adventures are going to be, where I'm going to be going. Now, I'm going to be off ships for over two months. And I didn't think that it was actually going to wind up playing out like that, but it's going to be a just a little over two months or 10 weekends to be exact. Good news, my first sailing back is going to be on the brand new Utopia of the Seas, and I can't wait to welcome her to the weekends and see what all she has to offer and then off let you all know how best to utilize your time on Utopia of the Seas. I'm not going to be creating as much content. And I say that I'm going to try to bulk a lot of content before I actually come off of ships. But when I'm on ships, I've got a good routine where I can sit down, I film. When I'm on land, there's other things that are coming up. I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be doing things. So I'm not as confident that I'm going to get to making videos. I'm going to try my best to front load a lot of these so that we have some that's going to come out throughout my time off of ships. Now I'm going to try and do a good job of balancing the content. So I'm going to front run or front load a lot of content. Go ahead and make it up, record it up, and then I'm going to slowly get it out to you so that you still have great content coming from the Weekend Cruiser, even though I'm not going to be on ships. Granted, there's still plenty of things from land that I can talk about, but when I'm on ships, you see that's where I record most of my videos from. Number one, I just think that it's really nice. If you're going to talk about cruise ships, be on a cruise ship. The second thing is I get busy at home. Like, I wish that I could record more. I love having my ship models in the background when I record there, but finding time, finding the energy when I'm at home normally doesn't work very well for me. So I'm going to try my best to keep up with the content. There will be more coming your way, but if it is a little bit slower or it slows down, rest assured it's going to pick back up in September. Now there's five main reasons why I'm taking the summer off. Let's go ahead and start with the very first one, and this is the kicker of them, is the prices. Like, I don't know if you all have priced out a weekend cruise in the summer recently, but they are ridiculous what I can afford or what I cannot afford, I should say in this case. And so it makes it really easy to look at other options and go, yeah, I can do something different. I don't need to spend $1,000 for an interior cabin for a weekend. Also on Royal Caribbean, one place that I traditionally can go when rates are a little bit higher, I get the 150% single supplement discount because I have more than 340 points in their loyal, loyalty program called the Crown and Anchor Society. But it has blackout dates. It, I forget what they actually are, but it's like from July and August, they don't give you the 150%. So I'm paying the full kit and caboodle for just me to go on there. And quite frankly, that's not really appealing to me. The second thing I'll talk about here right behind the price is during the summer months, the dynamics on the ship change with the people that are there. And what I mean by this is there's a lot more kids. They are a ton of kids that go sailing during the summer because mom and dad don't want to pull them out during the school year. They want to go during the summer and everybody's on summer break and you will find a ton more kids. Even on Celebrity, I find ships that normally don't have kids will have an increased number of kids because it's just the summer and they're out of school. So not only do I not want to kind of be surrounded by kids, that's just not the way that I enjoy cruising these days. I also don't want to pay a premium to then be surrounded by those kids. Just my personal opinion on that. But more importantly, one of the things that you know, my third reason here is I have certain blackout dates where I go and see my family up in North Carolina. And July 4th, Independence Day weekend for us Americans has always been a really big deal to me and my family. And so I enjoy going up there and celebrating with them on the water. Rest assured, my twin brother has a boat. I will certainly still be getting on a boat, not a ship, but I will be going up there and doing that, eating some good food and just enjoying the North Carolinian coast and beach for a little bit of a vacation and getting to see the nieces and nephews. I'm also going to get to hang out with mom. So I always stay with mom when I go. She's going to be joining us, by the way, on the September 26th Independence of the Seas group cruise. So if you want to learn more about the group cruises, make sure you're looking on the group cruise newsletter and link down below. The fourth thing is I have a day job, you guys. Like, I know a lot of people think I do this for a living, but YouTube, you would be shocked at how little money we actually make for the amount of effort we put into making YouTube videos. It's a little bit, but by no means is it a lot. Um, and so I have a full-time job. I work full-time and 
For me, my full-time job needs me to be in New York City during the summertime. And so I'm going to be going up there for four weeks. I think that's about five weekends is what it comes out to be, that I'm going to be in New York. Don't appreciate it. Have to pay the taxes up there, but it is what it is. Love my job, luckily. So it's not that big of a deal to go there. And by the way, I'm going to get to see some Broadway shows while I'm up there. That is my favorite thing to do when work concludes. I'm doing a rush ticket or getting a discounted ticket to go see a Broadway show. and super excited to be doing that once again. I'm also going to be looking at hosting a dinner or happy hour with all the folks that live in the Manhattan area. So if you are close to there and you've signed up for the Group Cruise newsletter, I can see, you know, what state you're from and I'll be able to, you know, to see if you want to go to dinner with me one night. Just thought it'd be something neat that I can do up there while I am visiting New York. And the last and fifth thing that I'll say here is I'm doing some land vacations. Like I know I go on a lot of cruises, but you all don't see the part where I go on a lot of land vacations. I'll reference it every now and again, but I am an avid traveler and I love seeing the world. That is mainly where my vacation days go these, time, these days. And I am up to 64 countries around the world that I've seen, which I am super proud of and want to continue building that. So one of my very good travel buddies is actually flying in to meet me in Miami. So he's gonna check out Miami. He's not seen my new place yet. So we're gonna stay there for a few days. We can go down to Key West, stay there for a few days. Figured if he's flying over from Europe, we can go down to the southernmost point here in the US. Check that out for a little bit. And then we're both gonna fly to Suriname. So that is on the northeast coast of South America above Brazil, one of those small little countries that are up there. Not my idea, he came up with this one, but I'm game to go just about anywhere. And so really looking forward to that trip as well. And as luck would have it, he knows my travel schedule. And for some reason, he booked all of his flights to arrive on a Saturday and leave on a Saturday. I was like, don't you know the cruise ships go on Friday? Like, why can't you leave on Friday so I can get back on ships? Anyway, I digress a little bit. I'm super excited to have him coming to visit. Even though I'm gonna have to be off ships for a little bit longer, I think it's gonna be a really, really fun time. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the weekend cruiser taking time off from cruise ships. I'm still gonna be making content, still gonna be interacting, responding to comments as much as I can. So stay tuned for what we have to offer over the summer while I am on land.